So you've seen it being built over the last two years, towering over downtown Cleveland. The Lumen in Playhouse Square is finished now, and some of its first residents have already moved in. The building will eventually put hundreds of new residents in the middle of Cleveland's theater district. Yeah, News Five's Kevin Berry explains why it's also an important piece of downtown's comeback. While Cleveland has changed over the years, Laurel Lip has watched it all from downtown apartments since the late 1970s, with new projects seemingly around every corner. I'm amazed. Now it's going through another, another renaissance, and it can only get better. The newest is the Lumen in Playhouse Square. The Lumen is really kind of revealing. <laughs> you, you really gotta, it's, that's a lot of glass. A lot of glass reflecting the image of downtown back on itself. And what it sees are a lot of renovated old buildings. The Lumen is one of the only recent new construction projects. But isn't this beautiful? It shows the community both what you have and what is possible. Playhouse Square's Gina Vernacci says it took 20 years for the project to finally get done. But now it'll put hundreds of residents where there used to be a surface level parking lot. Although there's a lot of adaptive reuse, which actually is very important for a community, it's also nice to have a choice. There's something about, you know, kind of big new buildings coming out of the ground that shows a certain optimism for the future. Terry Schwartz has been watching the Lumen be built from her perch at Kent State's Cleveland Urban Design Collaborative just down the street. She says the impact of a new construction project like this one is beyond just that morale lift. It requires more money compared to what it takes to renovate an existing building. In Ohio City, Harbor Bay's Dan Whalen knows that firsthand. There's 25 feet underground here that, that we've already finished. He's in charge of building Intro, another new construction project costing $150 million, which will be the tallest timber building in the United States when it's done in early 2022. We don't look and see any other project and say, man, hope that one doesn't fill up. We want them all to fill up. We want everybody to be successful. We want there to be density. That's why he says other projects are rooting for the Lumen to fill up, showing it's good business to turn even more parking lots into buildings. The elephant in the room is COVID. The pandemic part of it, it just depends, right? I don't know if it's gonna get worse, but it, it'll certainly be a little while before it gets better. They say we don't know what the complete economic impact is going to be, and projects could still stall if they can't pull the money together. But Terry says the bright spot is that people still seem to want to live downtown. When things sort of settle down a bit, the demand that that Lumen project was based on still exists. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.